Hey guys, we are going to do some mindfulness today. However, you're going to need a prop. Normally, I would have brought this for you if we were in the classroom, but you're going to need to get your own. So you need to pause the video and you need a box of raisins or some other small uh, food item of some sort. So pause the video, go get a box of raisins or something else uh, similar to that and come back, okay? All right, I assume you've now paused, gotten your food, and unpaused. Now put the food down for now, and let's start with a little mindful breathing. So, question for you, have you practiced mindful walking since last week? Remember our mindfulness lesson was outside last week. Uh, we were practicing going slow, walking slowly. It's been a common theme in our mindfulness lessons is, is going slowly when we are trying to be mindful. It gives us a chance to notice things that maybe we don't necessarily notice all the time. So today's lesson, like I said, is going to include a little prop. We can be mindful of anything. Your mindful bodies are very important today because sometimes this exercise makes us want to do silly things. Of course, it probably won't happen since you're all sitting at home, not around each other. But we're going to do this whole activity mindfully. That means you keep paying attention to how you feel, but you don't need to say anything out loud. Okay? Uh, so, uh, I'm going to say some sentences out loud and I'm going to pause between each one so that you can notice how you feel when I say each thing. Remember just to notice it in your own body. Uh, so take your raisins or whatever item you brought and I want you to take two, exactly two out one, two, okay. Put the rest aside for now. When we're done with mindfulness, you can have them as a snack, okay? All right. Take your raisin. And put them in your hand. Both of them in the same hand. But don't eat them. Just start to investigate your raisins. Notice what you see. Notice what you feel. Notice what you smell. And notice what you hear. What do you notice with your eyes? I notice that my raisins look wrinkly and shriveled. What do you notice with your nose? They smell sweet, pretty sweet. What about your ears? Take your raisin and put it near your ear and notice what you notice. I don't really notice much. My raisins aren't very squishy. What about with your fingers? Now, finally, we're gonna eat it, but are gonna eat it really slowly. It might take you a whole minute just to finish one raisin. So take your raisin, open your mouth, put it on your tongue, close your mouth. Don't chew it yet. Just notice how it feels in your mouth. Notice if you taste anything yet. It's hard talking with a raisin on my tongue, by the way. Do you taste anything before you even start to chew it? I don't really. 
Now begin to chew one bite at a time, noticing how it changes with each chew. Chew very slowly. Try to notice when you swallow and how far you can feel it into your body. What'd you notice? Did you notice anything? Who knew you could take so long to eat such a small item, right? Or whatever item you might be eating. Hopefully it's a raisin. Let's eat the second one. Chew on the other side of your mouth if you stuck on one side. And let's do this one just as slowly. We're going to put it on our tongue. Notice if you noticed. Any taste? I didn't really notice any taste. Maybe you did. I feel like before I chewed it, I couldn't really taste it at all. Like all the taste is inside their skin. And now really slowly, you chew it. That was one chew. Two, three. <laughs> I feel like it changes a lot each time I chew it. It starts to dissolve. You can taste all the sugars. Look at it stuck in my teeth. And I feel like even after I swallow, that my mouth still tastes like raisins. Now, I've only eaten two raisins, right? How long did it take us? What, seven minutes? Since the beginning of the video, so probably like three, four minutes to eat two raisins. If we all ate that slowly, we'd all be just standing, staying at the table the whole time, right? But. I wonder when are other times you could be mindful of eating? Obviously, maybe you're thinking what I'm thinking. When you're eating at a meal, can you be more mindful of the food you're eating? All of my kids are different when it comes to mealtime. Maybe you're this way too. You're, you're maybe one of these two ways. Maybe you uh, really like the meal you're having or you don't like the meal you're having. When, when my kids are all different, each particular meal, some of them love it, some of them hate it. And especially when they seem to not like it, they go really slow. Sometimes they just don't touch their food. And in my house, if you don't eat it, well, then you don't eat because we're not short order cooks. But the opposite I send at the side of the spectrum, especially my daughter, my daughter eats like I do, scars it down really fast. Sometimes she'll finish her whole meal and ask for seconds before I've even sat down to eat. And she'll say, can I have more? So I wonder if we ate more mindfully, ate more slowly, paid more attention to the food we're eating, how would that change your eating experience? Today or this weekend, uh, try to remember to take one mindful bite at a meal. Or maybe you can do more, but at least one mindful bite. Okay. I'll post these questions too with our video today. Did you notice anything during mindful eating that you had never noticed before? How do you think meals would be different if you were mindful? And how can eating mindfully help us? Okay. Thanks for joining me for mindfulness. Three good deep breaths. Have a mindful weekend. We'll see you next time.